You guys, what up? This is Kubis. I am so stoked about this video. This video answers the question that I've gotten the most in the past 15 years of making videos on YouTube, which is how I remove the drums from songs. Some other questions that I get repeatedly is, how do you do your hair? Where's your accent from? What is a Kubis? I actually kind of like this one. I really get a kick out of this one. Oh, you're from Africa? Why are you white? I'm just kidding, I don't get the why are you white question often. Just sometimes. So ever since I started making videos, people have always asked how I remove the drums from the original songs that I'm playing along to. So after 15 years of doing this, here's the answer. I don't, I don't remove the drums from the songs. So let me give you an example of why this is impossible, okay? So let's say you make your friend some coffee. Your friend really likes lattes, you know? Like coffee with tons of milk in it. So you make him a latte and you give him the latte and he takes a sip of the latte and then he says, man, actually, uh, I'm kind of in the mood for just black coffee today. So could you just please remove the milk? And, and, then, and, then, you, and then you say, I, I mean, I can't, you know, that's, that's not how, how reality works. I can make you a new coffee, one without milk, brand new coffee. And he goes, no, it's great. This is fine. I, this is a really good coffee. I just want this coffee without the milk. Just, could you just remove the milk from this coffee? The song is the coffee, the drums are the milk, okay? You can't remove the drums from the song without doing a brand new mix making a brand new coffee. But the title of this video is how to remove the drums from any song. It's not, you can't remove the drums from songs. Stop flipping asking me. So this is where things change a little bit because a few weeks ago, I got an email from this company called Moises and they have an, a website and an app that claims to remove vocals and instruments from any song. I've gotten tens, if not hundreds of emails over the years of companies claiming to remove vocals and drums from the song. And then their solution is always either really like overinflated, like it just doesn't work as well as they say it, it does, or it's just, just really poop. So when Moises reached out and they said, we have this app, we have this website, I did not have high hopes at all, straight up. Like I, I did not anticipate it to be working at all. But I went on the website and uh, I downloaded the app on my phone. I tried it out and holy crap. Here's a song in the app without vocals, without bass, without guitars, and without drums. It has the chords on screen. It has a live auto-generated metronome. You can change the speed. You can change the key, all in the app <laughs> from a song that I uploaded. This is crazy. Full disclosure, Moises is sponsoring this video. And the reason why is because when I tried out the app and I saw how well it worked, I immediately sent them an email. And I was like, you guys, I've been asked about this for 15 years. I really wanna tell my followers about this. Will you please sponsor the video and support my channel? And so they are supporting my channel. They are sponsoring this video. Okay, cool. Let me show you guys how the app works. I'm just gonna open it up. And then there's a few different ways that you can add uh, music to it. You can add it from any kind of public, publicly available URL, so any direct link to an MP3. You can add it from Dropbox, Drive, or your music library on your phone. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna open up um, my Apple Music Library and I'm gonna add the song Superheroes from Ventura Lights. Ventura Lights is a, is a, it's a great band. They, uh, they released one album back in 2013. <laughs> Ventura Lights is my band. It's a project that I did in 2013. And the reason why I'm using one of my own band songs is because I just want to use a song that I own the copyright to so I don't get sued and so that I can monetize this video. But I'm not using any kind of special mix of the song. This is just the full band mix from Apple Music, just like any other song. Then you can choose two track separation, four track separation or five track separation. I'm just gonna do four track because I primarily just want to be able to remove the drums from the song. So let's do four track separation. I'm gonna do the high quality version just in case I might end up wanting to use the song in a cover. Then you submit the track, it uploads. And in a little bit, I should get a notification that tells me that the file's done, uh, at which point I'll be able to download it back to my phone. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome, it's done processing. Now you download the processed version from Moise's servers, which means I should now have access to the separated sections of the song, the separated instruments. So let's have a look. So if I open up... Man, it takes me back. Um, so if I open up the song in the app, this is what it looks like. Uh, you can see that they, it has separated the vocals, the drums, the bass, and other. Other is usually, in this case, it would be keys, guitars, and any other instruments in the song. Um, I want to start off with something that might seem like it's not a big deal, but to drummers, this is insane. Uh, it auto-generates a metronome, which doesn't, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but this is crazy. Like, and this saves so much time. So if you play the song, let me play the song real quick. And I turn on the metronome. And it's on point. We, I wrote this song with a band and I tracked this, those are my drums. So I know where the click was relative to the snare. I know that it was slightly behind. We wanted to kind of like lean back into the click. And I'm not gonna get into too much detail about that, but it, all I wanna say is that it's insane how well this app auto generates a click immediately and gives you access to just listening to a click along to the song. And you can change the playback speed. So if you'd like to, to practice the song at a slightly slower tempo, you can just move it down. Faster. Shadows lurk inside the night. There's something out there and it hides. It's so this is really helpful if you want to practice certain drum parts or certain parts of the song, uh, especially after you've isolated maybe just the drums. Or if you just want to turn any song into a pop punk song. Automatic metronome generation blew my mind. It's crazy. Okay, so now let's get into controlling the individual instruments separately, which is kind of where the real magic happens. So if you want to duck the vocals, or the bass, or the guitars. And then, of course, the drums. When they come and their arms and ready, will you? This is this is crazy. Like as somebody, <laughs> as somebody who's been mixing drums and been like working on production for 15 years, it's very difficult for me to explain to you how similar this is to magic right now. Like this blows my mind to be able to do this on my phone and remove the drums this effectively without destroying the rest of the song. As you might have noticed, another functionality is that it shows the chords of the song in real time at the top of the screen as you're going through the song. So let's see, where's the chorus at? I think it's around here. And then you can also transpose the song. So you can bump it up a little bit, bump it down. And when you do that, the chords at the top of the screen get transposed in real time as well. So they still keep scrolling along with the song as you're listening to it. Flip, this is ridiculous. I can't believe this is where we're at in the world right now with technology. So what you can use this app for is to obviously to isolate instruments if you want to learn. So if you just want to isolate the drums, and you want to slow it down maybe. If you want to learn a certain drum part, or hone in on a certain part of the song. Obviously the way that I would use this is to duck the drums for drum covers, which is, that's why you guys have been asking me this question for 15 years, is if you wanna do your own drum covers and you wanna get rid of the, so the drums in a song, how could you do that? And so 
This is by far the most effective way that I've ever seen that question answered. If I wanted to do this with a song that I wanted to cover, I would uh, duck the drums. And you are weary. Shadows yeah. It's like that. The night. There's something out there and it hides. It's more than just your state of mind. One of the biggest ways that I'm very excited about using this is when you when I want to play different drum parts to the song that exists in the original song, which obviously like I'm all about. Like I love changing the drum parts. I usually have to be pretty careful with this because uh, if I deviate too much from the original drum parts, then you can hear the original drums competing with mine and it makes it sound really muddy and really messy. So let me show you guys, if I were to try and play something totally different over like the second verse, um, and I was kind of fighting with the original drum parts, then it would sound kind of messy. Let's see what that sounds like. When they come and they're armed and ready, will you hold steady? Or give in to their heartless lies? So you can totally hear that original snare on two and four messing me up, man. Like if I want to do something different, it doesn't sound that great. So if I were to do the same thing, but ducking the drums this time. When they come and their arms are ready, will you hold steady? Or give in to their heartless lies? It makes so many very creative things possible. Like, I can't wait to see what people do with this new technology. Being able to remove the vocals, being able to remove the drums, keep just the drums and write a new song along to it. Like, I just feel like there's so many possibilities here now that we finally have access to this technology. So that's it. If you guys wanna check out the app for free, just go to moises.app forward slash quibus, or you can click on the link in the description below. They also have a paid version of the app and that has some additional features like unlimited uploads or very high quality downloads of the mixed and processed files. That might be a good option if you intend on using this for your own videos or your own productions. But most of the features that I used in this video are available in the free version of the app if you go to moises.app forward slash quibus or if you click on the link in the description below. But this is crazy technology. This is insane. You guys should go check it out and see how well it works. It blew my mind the first time I used it. It's insane. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, thank you so much for your attention. Check out my Patreon page for drum lessons and exclusive content if you just wanna support my channel if you like my videos. Uh, big thank you to Moises for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy and take good care of yourself and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.